So after spending $9,000 at the Ford dealership, we almost hit our $10,000 budget. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2019 Ford F450 Platinum. And today we're gonna start off by heading to the Ford dealership because we just got a call that most of our parts are in because we did put an order in on basically everything that we need because the prices were just unbeatable. So let's go ahead, head that way and scoop everything up. All right, so here in Ford Lincoln, what they make Lincoln too? Same thing, Ford and Lincoln. I mean, they just changed the grill up a little bit. Yeah, we had a Lincoln uh, part in our Ford F450, but here we are at the parts uh, section. All the parts should be inside that bay over there, so we're just gonna park here. We got a lot of them. Let's hopefully we have enough room, you know. Yeah, I know. We got a bunch of panels, we got fenders, I believe, airbags, all that good stuff. But oh, definitely, let's hop in there. So we got these parts loaded up here. We did have a few mix up with some older model parts, but we got everything situated. They should be here real soon. So let's go ahead, throw everything on the bed of this truck and head back to the house. All right, so we are back. Let's go ahead and probably pull some of the cars out of the garage. And then we're gonna probably get all of our parts, pile them up. And then we're gonna start Big Bertha up over there, pull her in the garage. And then basically it sucks right now for us because we didn't get all the parts that we intended to get. So yeah. our schedule kind of messed plans up. plans kind of changed. I mean, what we were planning on doing was actually doing all the airbags and the airbag cover did not come in. Yeah, airbag but, cover, like two airbags, driver airbag and one seat airbag. But it's which, not a big deal. We still got plenty of work to do. There's yeah. other areas that we're gonna just uh, attack really yeah so. we're basically gonna just get all the parts open everything up go through them and see exactly where we need to start so let's go ahead first actually start the lambo up and the can and pull them out and, and the bikes uh, we still got bikes yeah, boys we still got bikes we ride them from time to time and then hopefully we can start big birth up because then batteries are still not charged we'll probably pull up this duramax over here and see if we can crank it right up so let's go ahead and get to it Dang, man, that gave me a rush. Dude, they gave me a little energy boost right there. Had to get that out of the system right quick. Good for the morning start. Hey, that's a good way to start your morning. Let's go ahead and fire the sucker up and pull it out. Started. This thing needs some major power. I mean, our Duramax, it's crazy. It only has one battery. The Fords have two. Maybe you just Does got it? more compression or something. <laughs> Dang, I don't know what's going on with that, but let's go ahead and pull the vehicle up and try to get it started that way. Let's do it. All right, so no luck trying to get that thing started, and we can't really pull anything back there to jump start it. So what we're going to do is actually put on this behemoth right here Ooh. on the Duramax and see if we can pop it in neutral and just pull it out here. And, man, this thing is super heavy. Dude, you can catch a whale with that Probably. Right I had to throw on the, the back brace just to carry <laughs> this thing. So let's go ahead and throw it on the Duramax and uh, see if that thing will haul that thing out of there.
what that sound was. It didn't sound too good, but it sounds just like a holier or something. All right guys, so now that we finally got the truck in here, we're gonna go ahead and set all the parts out right here on the floor and go through them and show you guys exactly what we got. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna open up, well basically it's already open, is this, uh, what is this stuff? This is a grill support right here. It goes right along, it goes right on top of the radiator support member bar that goes across there. And the grill actually snaps onto this sucker yes, right sir, here, which the holds. The nice platinum, which holds the nice platinum. Nice platinum <laughs> expensive grill. That grill right. is pretty expensive. Yeah. And it's actually like four or five parts. I know some Ford grills is just one whole piece, but. That's the first part right there. Very, very intricate part. You need this for framework. Uh, ain't that right? Yeah, that's right. That's pretty much what we're trying to get together is all the parts that you need from uh, for framework, which is going to include all the body panels, which we got our hood right there. Let's go to that hood, man. Or you want to say next? Yeah, let's do it. I was thinking about saving it for last, but I was like, dude, whatever. Let's. The box let's... is already halfway open. It's already halfway open. We really didn't get to look at it at the dealership. We just kind of just inspected the box because. Really didn't have a good area to, you know, take it out and stuff. But dang, look at that super duty. All right, this is gonna be a heavy one. Oh, snap. Gotta be careful. That don't let's, sound let's good. Let's actually pick it up, get that side. Pick it up like that. And then just hold it. No, no, grab it. Yes, sir, go for it. Dang. What is that? Grab that side. Three, I got it. Okay, so that's gonna be a heavy one. Barely. I was holding it by a finger, dude. Very dangerous, but you know what? The thing I don't like about the Ford dealership is we were actually getting these price, these uh, uh, parts for dirt cheap, weren't we? Yeah, cheaper than online prices. That's it. That's what we're here trying to beat is online prices and used parts are even more expensive than these OEM parts. That's right. This sucker right here is 550 bucks. We mentioned that before, but I don't see any damages or any nicks or any dings. No corners are damaged, which it, that'll kind of surprisingly kinda, no corners are yeah even at the now. chevrolet dealership we got a few damaged parts but they were quick to uh, give give us a new panel right yep but dude these are all perfect shape hopefully the fenders are as good as this because that's the main thing uh not a big deal if there's little things because you can always just touch them up with some body filler but the hood is perfect and looks amazing now let's, let's go ahead and move on to the next body panels right here. We got the fenders here. We didn't get to check those yeah, out. We didn't really get to check those out. We didn't really want to open the boxes because we were strapping them on the truck. I didn't want anything to be loose, but let's go ahead and hope for the best. And uh, maybe they're even for this truck or not even for this truck. Cause we don't know because we did have a few body panels that were not even for yeah, this truck. They were from an older model. So we had to switch up a few of our orders, which kind of sucks. It's gonna slow us down a little bit, but you know what? We still got plenty of work to do. Let's snap them open. see anything do you see anything let me uh -uh. look down this edge right here looks perfect dude. heck yeah man look at that wide body fender right that's there. that's a 450 fender right there dude, this thing is already wide body so i don't want to hear that in the comment section wide body the ford f450 it's already got <laughs> wide body fender flares and everything yeah actually the f450 has wider flares than the f350 so f350 does it even have flares or is that just a fender I'm, i think it does have flares I believe, but these are just a little bit wider. So yeah, these are way. Is there no damages on this one? No damages at all. Really Dude, that's nice. That's perfect this. condition, man. Let's try to keep it that way. Yeah, hopefully, because that's gonna save us a lot of time, not doing a lot of body work. There will yep. be a, a few little bits of body work on that door and the yep. other door as well. But let's go ahead and crack that other one open. Let's do it. son so all the panels are basically in perfect condition dude check that out no damages at all so we don't have to waste time on no body work other than the doors over there but this is nicely primed in with the original i think all oem parts use this kind of primer so you can easily sand this with like a 600 and then probably etching primer on all these little areas where yeah, the metal okay. is showing and then i don't even think you need to put sealer since the truck is already black we can just go ahead and spray it all in and it should match up perfectly so that's it for the panels let's go ahead and keep on moving
Alrighty guys, so we finally got some of these packages unpackaged and as you can tell, there's three pieces to this fan shroud, right? Yeah, three pieces that actually all bolt together making one big fan shroud and uh, I think two of the radiators bolt onto that because this thing does have two radiators which we haven't got in just yet because I think they're going to be here tomorrow. Yeah, that's what the parts but, guy said. Yeah, one radiator for the engine cooling, one radiator for the intercooler cooling right here. Yeah, so that's you can crazy, basically dude. call it an intercooler. I don't really know, but they call it a radiator on the parts list. This so. is pretty much a water to air intercooler. So one of the radiators actually cools the water in the engine and one of the radiators cools the water going to the intercooler which is the air yeah so it's which gets super air. cold air so that's probably the only intercooler on this thing which is pretty small honestly but yeah. i bet it cools it down perfectly so that's that for that we're probably going to get them tomorrow but we got our ac condenser right there and we got two battery trays right here one of them we're probably going to have to return because as you can tell one battery actually sits this way and this is the perfect battery box for it and then this other battery actually sits this way and it's a lot bigger bigger battery box as you can tell this thing actually bolts on you know the, got the it, coolant it, reservoir tank yep. it holds that and it probably holds a few other little things underneath there yeah, as well so we're gonna have to return one of these get the right one for the driver's side but other than that let's go ahead and actually move on to our airbags, uh, airbags. Yeah. So before we get to the airbags actually look at this oh we do remember have this a hook. this was kind of hard to find in their system right here this is actually a bumper bracket and a hook all in one you know we, we yeah, were trying to look go. for yeah go ahead go yeah ahead. we're actually looking for bumper brackets we could not find them and then we went ahead and looked up a hook and it actually is attached i thought it just unbolts right there but we opted for the black because they're a lot cheaper and i think it'll look a lot better dude. with this front end because we are planning to black out this truck what do you say black out dude, the grill i think that would be sick go ahead and black out the mirrors right here get rid of all the Chrome, pretty much chrome delete, do chrome, chrome delete, delete the dude. whole thing i wonder how hard it will be to paint like this trim and stuff or we may even wrap it what do you think Ooh, about that wrap we, it black yeah we kind of know i'd wrap a little maybe bit maybe pop these suckers off paint everything same color as the truck even the wheels dude do some black wheels or maybe get some aftermarket maybe get some aftermarket maybe just spray these in high gloss black dude that looks sick i think fully black let us know what you guys we got think. some custom uh, stuff coming for the front Ooh. end of this truck which is yeah i can't say no keep more keep it a secret let's go ahead and move on to these airbags dude and yeah, see definitely. let's open them all up and see which ones we got here. Yeah, let's do it. guys so as you can tell we got a few airbags unpackaged here and we're gonna go ahead and start with the roof airbag as you can tell they are color-coded so this is probably left hand and this is the right hand airbag we also got a seat airbag the sucker is tiny but it is pricey and we also got our dash airbag which we're gonna do this once our airbag cover actually comes in hopefully so we can tomorrow. do it all at once yeah hopefully yeah. tomorrow comes in so we can get that thing knocked out man that's gonna be a challenge right there taking out that whole entire dash but, but these airbags did take a big chunk out of dude, the price took man. a pretty penny out of our budget i think oh, yeah. with, with the all these parts so far i think we're around seven or eight grand somewhere in that range which we wanted to be under 10 grand and i think we may be able to make it i'm not may sure be able to pull it off hopefully. and we got one more package right here this is what do you, do you remember what this was i think that's the power steering cooler right there yeah it goes oh it is a little bit different dude is it's it no it's exactly the same you see how much wider this one is than this one? Oh, may have to return that one yeah we're gonna have to return this for sure get that situated but we do actually got our aprons in we picked these up the other day so let's go ahead and bring them in as well there i think they're in the garage all right so here are our aprons let me carefully squeeze through here careful man took a risk right there a little bit but as you can tell this is the left and right side and i believe these are aluminum right because i don't see any rust are you sure they're aluminum they're pretty heavy though so i think they're still because they do rivet into the body oh, well yeah, i don't you're... know they may be aluminum you're right I've actually they are pretty heavy dude give it a feel can you let me let me give it a feel right here oh oh i can't even hold that that's what i'm saying dude yeah, i don't they, know they're probably we gotta one way to find out there you go steel steel that's right they're pretty heavy and that's actually or, i think that's an aluminum magnet right there oh yeah <laughs> probably an aluminum magnet right there but yeah there is one more piece out back let me go ahead and bring it in as well yep let's do it all right so here we have our center piece and this is going to directly replace 
this piece right here, I believe it sits like that or like this. I don't know which way it is, but. That thing is, is gonna have to get welded on, right? Because this thing has spot welds. Right oh yeah, there. that is right. We're gonna probably drill a couple holes and just spot those suckers in. And that should yeah. be pretty simple. The only thing that I think is gonna be difficult is actually finding the exact rivets of the OEM factory rivets. I believe there's a few like in there. I'm sure we can find some uh, some nice rivets or I mean, we can just weld that sucker right up in there. Also, we gotta find the perfect tool to unscrew these little, these are like some sort of special I don't, screws. I don't even think those are screws. I heard that they might be just a certain kind of rivet. Really? No, yeah. Actually, a few people actually reached out to us. They were trying to tell me how this stuff goes together. So huge shout out to you guys. Yeah, they sent us actually a, like a dealership form of how to yeah, remove these suckers. Exactly. So that's exactly. gonna be a ton of help whenever we're gonna be taking these yeah. suckers off. Definitely appreciate it. Let's go ahead. What are we going to start doing? Should we go ahead and start tearing this stuff apart? Or should we install some of the roof airbags? I don't know. There's a few approaches there's, we can there, take there's here. There's a bunch of approaches. Let's figure out what we get, like, what can we do with all these parts and get started? There's tons of things we could do. Let's just find something to do. Goodness gracious, man. We were just messing with this thing, trying to figure out the massaging seats, and that's pretty cool. I actually sat in it, and it waves you around, so. It moves you around a little bit, dude, so you'll wake up if you're trying to fall asleep. Just kind of, you know, if you're getting numbed out or something, that them suckers just I know, me. especially when you're like on a nine hour drive, you're always Ooh. moving around, and it sucks, but this thing should do the trick for you. Yeah, right and here. we open up this sunroof, and that's pretty sick, and, and I wonder where that stuff retracts. It's like hidden in the roof there. It's probably a little spiral back there. Yeah, roll. It rolls up too, but dude, that's awesome right there that's a big sunroof dude. yes sir dude that's a that's a moon looker right there that's a moon roof right there <laughs> so what are we gonna do what do we decide to do do the roof airbags yeah we're gonna pop in both roof airbags so we can just knock that out get it out of the way because uh once that's done we can go ahead and focus on like the major things like the dash the seat covers as you can tell the creases have been coming out it looks a lot better so let's go ahead pop all this stuff back off and change them roof airbags Alrighty guys, so the roof airbags are finally in. It looks absolutely amazing. Everything went smoothly. And of course we did disconnect the battery because we wouldn't want them suckers to blow on you now, would you? Oh, that's blowing too much money right there, man. That's right. And very dangerous. It can yeah, it possibly can kill you, dude. It can harm you, yeah, it's no joke. So you definitely want to disconnect your battery, let it sit for about 10 minutes or whatever, yeah. and then plug them in or disconnect them, whatever you gotta do. But yeah, the interior is coming together. All we got left is pretty much the dash, the seats, and that steering wheel bag, which should be here tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah, should be here tomorrow, and uh, I'm thinking we're gonna probably go tomorrow and ask for some seat covers because- Oh, the seat skins? Yeah, the seat skins, because if they're a good price, might as well just go ahead and buy them and not have to waste all that time getting getting them shipped out and yeah. then getting them shipped in. So we're gonna definitely see if we can get some color match seat skins and they'll be brand new, but that's about it for tonight. We're gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here. And what we're about to do is actually head back to the Ford dealership because we are gonna order a few more parts and also see if anything new came in. I know we are spending a lot of time at the Ford dealership, but it's part of the process. We pretty much live there now and we are also spending a lot of money. So we gotta make sure we get the right parts. And also it is on time because we are on a tight schedule as well. So let's go ahead and head that way and see what's up. Alrighty guys, so we are here at the Ford dealership. We got both of our radiators. We also got our platinum grill and we fixed our battery tray issue. So we're actually gonna head back home. We're gonna check this stuff out. All right, so after spending $9,000 at the Ford dealership, we almost hit our $10,000 budget, but we decided not to do that with the seat skins because those were $1,000 for both of them. And I know we can get those suckers repaired for a lot cheaper than that. There is a ton of companies that do that. But right now we got three pieces here. We got our radiator, a secondary radiator, and also our platinum grill. That sucker consists of like five panels or something like that. Something and we crazy. got some hose connections yeah. here too. These suckers were actually broken on our truck right here. This is gonna replace that cracked one and this hose is actually broken from there. So we had to buy the whole entire thing. But let's go ahead and crack this stuff open, make sure it's correct, and then we'll install these things.
right, so we did bring out some of our damaged pieces from the back of the truck just to make sure it's all identical and it does match perfectly, which is a good sign. Now we can actually assemble the cooling system together, which they all like pretty much sandwiched together. And then we're gonna save them for when we're gonna do the framework. We can't install them just yet until we get our aprons replaced and also we get ready for the frame machine. So we just need to get them put together and out of the way. But check out how strong these suckers are. I mean, look at this. Dude. They're not gonna bend. I'm surprised that sucker bent right there in the impact, dude. That's dude, crazy. That's gonna be some good scrapping right there. Yep, but definitely. check out our grill, dude. This grill actually consists of five pieces, but it's all assembled, right? Yeah, we went ahead and ordered the, the whole entire kit. So basically they assembled it completely for us. You don't go wanna ahead, feel it, dude. Go ahead and do a little, little bit of it. This is the most satisfying part right here. Look at this. Oh man. Nice brushed Ooh. aluminum. Man, it's gonna look good, but we may black it out. Who Go knows? Go ahead and uh, undo it completely right here. All right. All the way to look, the half of it. Go there for you. Dang. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's it. We do got the Ford piece right here with the camera built into yeah, it. Yeah, it's right here, still in perfect shape. So we're just gonna almost, swap that I out. I almost in. broke that sucker when I threw it off the truck. I wasn't thinking, but <laughs> luckily, we're gonna save some money there without breaking any parts. But let's go ahead and assemble this cooling system. Alrighty guys, so we finally got our cooling system completely put together. Also got the badge into the grill as well, but that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video. Today was mainly just getting all of our parts together, everything that we need for the framework, and that's coming here real soon. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything, because it's gonna start getting real fun. So with that being said, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you wanna help support your boys, be sure to visit GunSquad.com and copy some merch. Thank you guys for all the love and support, all the comments, all the emails, all the suggestions, man, that really does help us. So be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.